Once they start having an orgasm, they don't stop. Do you think they'll remake it now with Meg Ryan now? No, I think she's um, starring in Swamp Thing. The remake of... <laughs> oh, that's mean. I think they're oh. doing a Man Without a Face, but they're gender flipping it. So Damn. It's, but, it's, the but, but the new title is just called Meg Ryan's Face. Flip the oh. script. <laughs> it's the new title. <laughs> Eric, they can do that kind of stuff. They made a black version of Honeymooners. They that flipped the script. Did they? Yes. They okay. Cedric flipped the Entertainer. It. They flipped it. Hey, uh, if you've never seen Meg Ryan, keep it that way. Didn't, yeah. they, do, didn't they do that with... Watch um, some older films. Didn't they do that with Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, too? They did, know. with wasn't Ashton Kutcher. Wasn't the original movie, it was like a white family, and they were and like, Portier, they were like Sydney, scared yeah, of a movie. black man yeah. or something? Yeah. Sydney, the, the girl was dating uh, Sydney Poitier, and she brings him to dinner. Oh. It was very like, but now, Sydney Poitier, so but now, very good. But now Bernie Mac has to deal with Ashton Kutcher's dumbass. Ashton Kutcher. Ash, Ash, dumb, good, Ash, like dumb, that. kutcher. <laughs> Do you guys remember that movie Soul Man? It used to be on uh, Comedy Central. Did that s- Leslie Nielsen? Did remember that Soul star Lane? Ash, dumb, kutcher? Ash, dumb. Ash, dumb, kutcher. Was he? Is he starring in that? Um, I'm sorry. Start the fucking conversation <laughs> over. I was just wondering. <laughs> what Soul Man? What about, about it? About the, the guy, just the blackface movie. Remember yeah, that? yeah. Well, someone had, we were talking about uh, movies that are super racist. We were talking about uh, all this info coming out about Adam Sandler's Netflix. Originally. Yeah, right. And then people in the chat were talking about how you know Blazing Saddles, while a hilarious film, could not be made today. And then uh, I was thinking about that movie Soul Man. That was kind of the same thing, and that used to air a lot. Yeah, in you the know, nineties on. Uh, I don't really like Blazing Saddles that much. I'll really? be honest. It's funny. It's been a long time. I can't. Give you it's, an updated it's opinion. Kind of funny, but it's just all racist humor. Not that I have a problem with that. I love it. Mongo um, punches a horse. But it just kind of falls apart and they break the fourth wall for like 45 minutes at yeah, the end of that do. movie. And it's just like, I feel like, I don't know, you had a good idea, you should have saw it through I to think, the end. I think contextually that. It was probably an important that, movie for the time. That came out at a time that. when, yeah. You know, if I do that today, it's rock. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. yeah. But when it came out, nothing really quite like that. They took that kind of loose comedy to another level. So I think it's I think it's a great movie for when it came out. If they if they release that today, yeah. I wouldn't. Doctor Ryan and Kurt Dog are disagreeing with me, but I agree with a lot. Cosby, Young Frankenstein is superior. In fact, Young Frankenstein, my favorite comedy oh, yeah. ever made. So yeah, it's not that I don't great. like Mel Brooks. Yeah. I just don't like Blazing Saddles. And y'all know how much I love Westerns. You would think I would love Blazing Saddles. Yeah. But I don't. Uh, yeah, but I, don't I mean, I guess. I don't think those things necessarily... I wouldn't consider that. I know that it's like kind of taking apart a Western genre. But... Well, I love Mel Brooks, and I like Westerns, mm-hmm. but I just don't like Blazing Saddles. Yeah. I'm very fond of it because I saw it when I was very young with my dad. And then watched it a lot since then. You know what? I never. I saw it as an adult. I didn't have. Yeah. See, so I have very fond memories. Of and the same thing happened with uh, what's that Steve Martin movie? The Jerk. The Jerk. Yeah, yeah. I watched that I, as an adult. Did not like it. Yeah. Exactly. Oh really? Yeah. You know what I liked as a kid more than any of those? Uh, well, I loved Spaceballs. Uh, yeah. Love Spaceballs. But um, a movie that I never hear about that I really liked. Mel Brooks did High Anxiety. Love High Anxiety. I loved that, and it has it had one of my favorite fourth wall breaking jokes. When the, it, like there's a dramatic like crane shot out at the end, and it's just like pulling away from them, duh, 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 you know, getting higher, and, higher. Duh, 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 duh. and you just quietly hear in the back of the, as the shots going, you quietly hear as a kid this blew my mind. You hit in the back, hey, you're gonna hit it, 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 and they just like clip a wall or something. Like it's not even that <laughs> big of a gag, but the crane clearly <laughs> hits something. Ah, fuck. <laughs> that cracks me up so bad. That, I've never at the seen time, I've never anxiety. seen anything like that. Yeah, but they like clip a wall. I I've don't seen know. a ton of his other That's films. Funny. I've never seen or really heard anything about. I don't know anything. It's about like anxiety. a take on spy movies. Oh, okay. I thought it was more. It's been a long time since I've seen it. Like I thought it was more like yeah, Hitchcock, Hitchcock kind of yeah. 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 suspense. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Thus the title. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. He did get smart. That was a take on spy movies. Oh, my anxiety right. is Hitchcock. It's a Hitchcock parody. But Young Frankenstein, my personal favorite. And um, I like the original Frankenstein movie a lot too. And I almost, in a weird way, view this as a sequel to it. 
Because Mel Brooks said that he tried really hard to make his movie look like... They oh. made it in the 70s, but he wanted it to look like it was made in the 30s. It's, I, I always they thought... They nailed that look. I always thought it nailed that look. Yeah, so it yeah. has a very artistic aesthetic, and it's super hilarious. So I think it's the best comedy ever. In um, my opinion. Frankenstein. I dig it. 